Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to create a Google Pixel 4a mobile phone on 3D Studio Max. So let's get it started. First of all, go to the rectangle and create rectangle. Now convert to a table spine and get vertex and fillet the corner of the edges. And then you need to make a extrude with the extrude modifier and then give some amount of that. And then we'll have to set it now. You need to convert this into a table poly for creating an edges to make it curving shape. So first of all, I'm going to take the insert and just detach these boxes. So by this, I have separate screen. Now add two edges and scale it for creating some curve shapes on the edges of the mobile phone. And now as you see, so apply mesh smooth to create some smoothness on it. Now I just need to make some more objects in it. So I need to take the unwrap textures, go to the editor and make it unwrap the screen and the back cover as well. So now I've just adjusted this in both of this screen and the back cover. Right now I just need to give the camera for the back camera. Same process rectangle, convert to spine and then fillet the vertex to create some smoothness on the corners. Now the same step is get extrude, after the extrusion set the amount and then right click to convert it to poly and then make a polygons insert on it and then delete. After that you just need to bother to attach themselves. Now just adjust them, make one more rectangle. The same process, convert to spine, take the vertex and make it easily fill it. And you need to apply extrude just to fulfill the cameras inside like this. I'm just going to take another duplicate with this and just to create mirror or glass of the camera. So just need to adjust this first like this. Perfect. And now we need to create some camera lens. So just I'm taking the help with the help of tube. You just need to adjust properly according to your demand, according to your explanation, or according to your wish, whatever you want to make it. So now it's okay. I'm just gonna fix the sphere in it to create camera lens. The same thing that is perfect right now. Now I just need to take another duplicate and make him scale visible to create lights or maybe flashlights or whatever you want to call it. So I have just done this. Now fix it. Perfect. There's one error so I need to adjust these like this. That's good. So I just need to create uh, textures. We have just take the snapshots and go to the saving PNG formats and now Open on Photoshop. Perfect. I have these uh, textures here and I have just downloaded the image from the Google, which is Pixel 4a. This one. So, what am I going to do? I'm just going to take the selection of this mobile phone throughout the pan tool. Perfect, like this. And right click to make selections and import it here. Here on this part. Now it's perfect. Uh, I have just taken the white color for the background. So I need to place this G for the Google logo, Google Pixel 4a logo, this one. So I'm just gonna save this image and open in the Photoshop just. Place it on the side of local logo. Give the color gray some kind of. That's perfect. Now it's perfect. And as well, I'm gonna make the touch sensor here as well in the texture. As it's something like this. And some extra part uh, when you make it. So you need to set something like this and just delete. So now I have created the texture of this front and back side as well. Just make a save and go to the 3D Studio Max after saving this. 
like this yeah and now just to go to the render setups turn on the video settings everything will be in expert mode so in these settings i'm just going to play with these settings so there's no matter of what so here i'm just uh, going to the material editor and take the video material after video material just uh, put the texture on the model something like this so it will be looking like oh that's good but unfortunately it is not on the perfect position so i'm going to go to the editor of uv unwrap and then just rotate the object rotate the object properly to create a proper texture that's perfect right to uh, one more thing i'm just going to do is just to select the borders of this mobile phone i'm going to give the somehow black color with the video material this one is black and give some reflection as well perfect now the turn is for camera so just right click okay fill the camera texture the camera light and their lens as well some reflective lens as well that's perfect now i'm gonna call this mirror and create a mirror texture or glass texture you can call Okay, go to the object property, make a visibility of 0 0.5. That's perfect. I'm gonna create the um, buttons of power button and the volume button like this. Same process, fill it these objects and make it extrude. And place on the side of this. Take a duplicate by shift. And we have created both buttons. Now just keep the color of these buttons. Uh, some is black and some is orange and some is white. So it's up to you whatever color you want to do this. So now I'm just gonna make it group mobile. And we are here and ready to create a studio light setup. That's perfect. That's perfect. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna go to the box and draw a box for the studio light setup. Convert to poly and delete the extra polygons. So now I uh, place the cell phone in the container. Now create a camera for creating my own focus. This is my focus. And render settings, keep the frame rate or the frame size in it. That's perfect. All right, more zoom. That's good. One more color I have just turned into black because I will create one cell phone is white and one cell phone is black. So I'm gonna just gonna give the texture of black this color, black, and then upload. So you can find easily one is black and one is white. Let's look for it. Take the video light and put it in the top of the viewport and some ten segments. Now I am just uh, going to give the shader to the back side of the box like this and make some kind of a smooth with the help of connections, mesh smooth and now I am just going to keep the render. Thank you so much for watching this. We have created a beautiful studio light setup with the modding of a Pixel 4A mobile phone on 3ds Max.